What's up? It's been a while since I made a video. Um, so today, saw that uh, James Gunn announced the new um, slate for DC for the DCU. So I thought, oh, what a better time to jump back in and make a video than with this. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have been, I was like, super excited when James Gunn was announced as the CEO of the new DCU. Um, I felt like DC has really wasted opportunity on building something strong with their movies, TV shows, building something that's all connected. And I feel like they've like wasted time. They really have fallen behind Marvel when it comes to that. Uh, I thought that, you know, they, they, they have really strong characters. I've always felt they have really strong characters. I don't think they've actually used them the best. Uh, as much as I enjoy Zack Snyder's movies, I, and as much as I love Man of Steel, I don't think he was the right director for Man of Steel. I don't think he was the right director really for Justice League. I think he'd been a great Batman director because of his dark, gritty, how he likes to shoot and the way he likes to tell stories. But I don't think that was really the best for um, DC overall in how they wanted to move forward, but making the, getting the most out of their characters. And again, like I said, I was really excited with James Gunn. I, like, I love what he did with uh, Suicide Squad 2. And I love Peacemaker. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of um, Galaxy, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, coming in, I was really excited. Then hearing that, oh, they're gonna bring back Henry Cavill as Superman. I was super excited about that because I love Henry Cavill. He's like one of my favorite Superman. He's not the best, but I really do like him a lot as Superman. Um, so yeah, I, I really was excited for that. But then when I heard that Henry Cavill wasn't coming back, then I was again kind of like worried, but at the same time, not as worried because again, I have a lot of confidence in James Gunn and I really want to give him the benefit of the doubt and what they were going to do. And with today's announcements, I think it showed that patience was, uh, it was worth being patient for. Um, I'm excited for what's to come, what this, the plan is for this first chapter, um, what they've so far, William, what they've announced in this first chapter. So I'm excited for that. I think it's going to be really good. I think, you know, it's, it's going to be very creative and I think it's not going to be a cook, a copy of what Marvel has done per se, but I think they're gonna use that franchise and that overall world building that Marvel has done so well, I think they're gonna do the same. And like, again, I'm excited for that. Uh, so today he, they talked about, or he, James Gunn talked about, the, the four movies that come out this year, uh, the first one, Shazam, The Fear of the Gods, that comes out on March 17th. Really looking forward to that. That should be really good. Um, I love the first Shazam movie. The trailers for this looks really good. So I'm excited for that. Uh, Flash, the Flash movie comes out, I believe in July. Not as excited for that. Uh, you know, with everything going on, Ezra Miller, everything that's happened with that, I really don't think it's the best that they've continued down that route and to have that, but whatever. Um, it's a decision they made. They guess they really like what they've seen so far. And for that, it's gonna be the reboot. That's, that's where everything's gonna restart from, is from there, he said. Uh, that's gonna be the flashpoint, that's gonna be the reboot. They don't know, they've used that in the past to reset the comics, so they're gonna do the same thing with the movies, and it's gonna be a new beginning. Um, again, I'm not the most excited for it, but at the same time, uh, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully, this movie will be at least be decent, and. That'll be the end of Ezra Miller as The Flash and we'll keep moving from there. Um, and then you got Blue Beetle that comes out in August. Um, uh, a movie that I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's a different than the Blue Beetle that I would have wanted, but again, I'm open to it and to see what they do. And then they end the year with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I love uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I think it's gonna be really good. Uh, hopefully, He'll be one of the characters that sticks around in the new DC, but you never know um, what, how they're going to do this, what their plan is overall. But I'm hoping that see some of the characters, he's one of them, they can bring on 
and continue into uh, what's to come next. And then they talk, talk, start talking about the first chapter, Gods and Monsters. So that's going to be the first chapter in this new DCU. Um, and I am very, again, I'm excited. I am very interested in to see what they're going to do. Um, they're starting out with something that I had never really, I, I don't really remember it. And if I did read anything about it before, honestly, I don't remember it now. So yeah, if they, so if this is something I, I, I really don't know too much about, and that's uh, Creature Commandos. It's a team put together by Amanda Waller. It's kind of like uh, the Suicide Squad, but they're all like monsters and that kind of stuff. Reminds me a little bit of the Doom Patrol as well. So that's going to be, it's interesting because that's going to be animation and going to lead into a live action TV show. Um, there's going to be the same actors. The, the, whoever's going to be voicing them in the animation will be on the live action TV show. So that should be good. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Again, this is something new. And James Gunn has a, a way of making these unknown characters and these unknown stories fresh and new and exciting and you're going to draw you in so i'm looking forward to it i think it's overblown a lot anyway when people say oh nobody knows who these characters are but we go to see movies we don't know none of the characters like there's no backstory established beyond what you see in a trailer anyway or in some synopsis that you may read before you go see the movie so that's whatever um i'm still looking forward to that i think it's gonna be really good so that's like the first thing and then they're going to lead that into the Waller show. Now that's going to be about Amanda Waller. It's going to have Viola Davis playing Amanda Waller again. And it's also going to have some of the characters from the Peacemaker show. So that's be really interesting. I'm hoping that this will be like a bridge between the Peacemaker season one and Peacemaker season two. Hopefully they bring it back for season two. I really love Peacemaker. Um, so yeah, this should be really good. Again, kind of going right into what, he's really good at and what like we already kind of established a little bit um then after that it's going to be the first movie of chapter one and that's going to be superman legacy now that's going to be based off of the all-star superman comics really good comic book series reimagining of superman um the comics were, were, were written by uh grant morrison um really well known uh writer and should be good uh james gunn is gonna be writing a movie so he says he's like halfway done so i'm, I'm looking forward to that it'd be interesting to who they cast superman uh, whoever gets cast superman has uh, a big shoes to fill to replace henry cavill i mean that's 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 gonna be a lot to to, to replace him so it's interesting to see like who they get to play that um and then to so have a, a so then after that will be a ladder TV show. I mean, he described this. He says it's going to be kind of like uh, a true, de true detective. It's going to have John Stewart. It's going to have Hal Jordan. It's going to be Earth based, um, but there'll still be some space stuff going on. They'll have other jo other uh, lanterns in it. They didn't say who, so it'll be interesting to see if it's, when he says other lanterns. Is it going to be other Green Lanterns? Because the show is called Lanterns. It's not called Green Lanterns. It's called Lanterns. So this leaves it open to all the other lanterns, the blue, the red, the yellow, all of that. So it'll be interesting to see um, what they do and how they do that and bring it all together. So after that, it'll be the authority. And that's always been like an alternate, uh, a more hardcore Justice League. Um, they have their own analog of Superman, have their own analog of Batman, the whole nine. Um, but they're like more hardcore. They don't really hold back. They um, anything goes for them. Anything that they'll, that'll bring peace. They're kind of like <laughs> a group of peacemakers. You know, any, whatever it takes, they're gonna do. So that's definitely a dark, gritty path that uh, DC doesn't do a lot, especially with the um, movies. So it'd be interesting for that. I'm um, kind of looking. I'm look. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. That should be good to get that um, before we get to wh whoever the new Justice League is to get this um, alternate Justice League kind of in there established beforehand. So 
that should be good. Uh, Paradise Lost this is a show that's going to be based on Thermoscara. When he said it, he, he, he brought up Game of Thrones. So it kind of like fits. Um, I wonder if it'll be like before Wonder Woman or you know, during Wonder Woman's time there. Or would it be before Wonder Woman was born, um, after she's left? Like, it'll be interesting to see, like, what they do and, like, how this plays out. I'm um, looking forward to it. Should be really good, though. Uh, then they talked about how they're going to introduce Batman into the new DCU. Uh, they're going to do a movie called The Brave and the Bold. It's going to um, have Batman, and he's going to try to reform his son, Damien, who's going to be the new Robin. Uh, so they're going to, again, it'll be interesting to see how they do this. And, and if they have... If they reference that there were Robins before Damien, if Damien's going to be the, the first Robin, how this all plays out will be interesting to me. Um, I'm looking forward to it, though. Again, this is one of those things where I want to see how they reimagine these things and tell these different stories that maybe that hopefully we haven't seen before on the big screen or on the small screen. It'll be cool to, to see some of these comic book stories that I've read and have, have grown to love and the, these new things that have happened and to see these new things and to, to see them on the big screen or on the small screen, see them in live action, see how it plays out. I'm looking forward to it. Booster Gold show. This is something that I've been waiting for. Um, love Booster Gold. He's hilarious. He adds a lot to any story. Like his story in the New 52 was like one of my favorite stories. Him and his interaction with Blue Beetle. So that will be interesting to see like how they do that. But, uh, Love Booster Gold. Can't wait to see him live action. I'm wondering how they're gonna like what the what kind of show it's going to be. Is it going to be just a straight comedy? Is it going to be like a dramedy? Like how they're gonna do that? Um, it'll be interesting, and I'm looking forward to it. Another movie they announced was Supergirl: Woman of Tomorrow. Again, a a, a new a newer story, um, a new comic book story that came out not too long ago. I think it was last year. Uh, it was really good, from what I understand. Um, but it's like he's leaning into some of the newer stuff, which I'm fine with, like tell the new stuff, give us something fresh, give us something new and like build on like the mythos of what these characters have, but also these new stories, a lot of new storytellers have been telling and have been telling very well. So yeah, th this should be good, um, for that. And then the last thing they talked about today was, uh, the Swamp Thing movie. So this is where it kind of gets confusing to me a little bit. Uh, so Swamp Thing is going to be a horror flick. And it's not set in the DCU, but it plays into the overall story that's going on in this first chapter of DCU that they talked about today. So don't know what that means, um, like how, how that's going to all play together. But it'll be interesting. Um, he, also, he also mentioned today that the Batman movies with Robert Patterson and the Joker movies with um, River, I mean, Joaquin Phoenix. So the, he also mentioned, he also announced today that the bad movies with Robert Pattinson and the Joker movies with Joaquin Phoenix are DC Elseworlds. So they're gonna be Elseworld stories. They're not gonna be part of DCU. They're not gonna be like touch or base or have anything to kind of do with the stories that they're telling right now in the DCU. They're their own thing. They're going to be in Elseworlds. So, and then anything they do like that will be, it'll say Elseworlds. It'll say, hey, this is an Elseworlds story. This is something that um, is, is in that separate universe. So overall, I'm really excited with what was announced today. I'm really happy that this stuff, information is out there now. People can see it and judge from themselves like what's coming for the DC Universe, what they're going to do for the movies and the TV shows. I'm glad there's continuity between them now. Uh, for the longest time, the TV shows were their own separate thing. Um, you had the, the flat, you had the Arrowverse, and you had everything else. And you know, before that, you had like the Smallville and everything. So I'm glad that uh, everything's tied together now. They're, they're, they're going to have a cohesive plan. They're going to follow that, that Marvel slash uh, Star Wars world building, but with their own twist. And I'm looking forward to it. You know, again, I trust James Gunn. 
uh, I think people need to stop being impatient and just wait and see. It's going to take time. You know, movies aren't made overnight. Uh, scripts aren't written overnight. Things don't happen overnight. And we have to give these talented, you know, writers and directors a chance to do their thing. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to what is to come. I'm looking forward to how good these shows and movies are going to be. I'm looking forward to, to seeing castings and, and all that. And yeah. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about the DCU and what James is going to talk about today. Um, how they're rebooting everything, how it's going to be different than from what we've seen before, um, how it's going to be their new beginning. And yeah, just tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts on like what shows and movies are they got announced today. Um, some of the characters and what you're looking forward to. And what do you want to see next? Like what's going to be the second part of this chapter one or you know, the stuff that they didn't announce or you know, what's going to be down the road for you know, chapter two and whatever, you know, he talked about they have, are planning out the next eight to 10 years for DC Universe. So I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what they're going to do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The next time, peace.